To sew a jean zipper the professional way, you need three things. First of all, a jean zipper, then you need a fly facing, and thirdly, you also need a shield pattern piece. And if your pattern lacks these pieces, you can actually download them for free by clicking on the link that you will find in the description section. So the first step is to interface the fly facing. So you place the fusible interfacing on the reverse side, press, and then you finish off by overcasting the outer round edge. And you can either use a regular zigzag stitch or a three thread wide overlock stitch if you have a serger. Then we're going to sew the fly shield. So what you do is that you fold the fly shield piece so that the right sides are facing. Then you're going to stitch along the bottom seam of the shield. And by the way, there's no need to stitch and turn the, the side seam because that just adds unnecessary bulk. So we're just going to stitch the lower seam and I'm going to show you in a minute on how we're going to close the shield. So once you stitch the bottom, you turn it over so that the right sides are now facing up. You press to make sure that shield lies nice and flat. And then you finish off by overcasting both layers of the open straight edge. And this will actually close the shield and also make sure that you don't get a lot of unnecessary bulk. Next step is to attach the facing. So you place the fly facing along the crotch edge on the left front piece, wrong side facing. Then you sew a straight stitch to attach the facing approximately 10 millimeters, which is roughly about three, eight inches away from the edge. So quite close but not super close. And we also need to press the seam after you have sewn it together. So you start by pressing the seam open, then you fold the facing under and press a second time to really flatten the seam. And then you finish off by top stitching along the edge of the folded fly facing. So you start from the bottom, then you top stitch the facing close to the edge, around three millimeters, about one quarter of an inch in. So now we're going to attach the zipper to the facing. So what you do is that you place the zipper on the facing. The zipper pull should face towards the fabric and the inner zipper tape should align with the crotch edge. So really check the placement to make sure that you are actually sewing the zipper on the right side. And then you stitch the zipper to the facing. What you do is you sew a straight stitch along the edge of the outer zipper tape and that will attach the zipper to the facing. Now for the fun part, we're going to top stitch the zipper. I highly recommend that you use a stitching template to make tracing easier. And if you download the free pattern kit that I talked about, you will also get access to a few versions of this as well. So just place that on your fabric. And one thing that's really important now before you start tracing is that the curve of that stitch should end at least 10 millimeters, which is roughly about three, eight inches below the zipper stop. So there's enough room for the presser foot when you're top stitching because you don't want the presser foot or the needle to go over metal cords. You just want to touch the fabric of the zipper tape. And then you trace the outer edge of the zipper. And that's all you need because the second row, you will actually stitch by using the outer row as your guide. And here's one thing that's really important before you start top stitch. You need to fold away the outer zipper tape edge. So what you do is you lift and fold the end of the outer zipper tape so the top stitching doesn't catch it. You just fold it and then you attach it with a few basting stitches. And that is very, very important before you start doing anything else. You need to make sure that that little piece is folded away. To top stitch, you start from the upper edge, then you sew the outer row until you reach that lower edge. And when you reach that edge, with the needle still in the fabric, lift the presser foot, turn the piece 90 degrees, then you sew along the edge for approximately six millimeters, which is about one quarter of an inch. Then you pivot again and you stitch the entire inner row of top stitching. And you use the outer edge of your presser foot as your guide to make sure that the stitching is really even. And one thing here is that the entire fly top stitching should be one continuous seam. So it's actually quite easy 
to sew a zipper using the method I'm showing you here. So we're done with the top stitching, you're going to attach the fly shield to the zipper. So what you do is that you place the outer zipper tape with the pull facing up along the outer edge of the fly shield. Again, make sure that the placement is correct before you do any stitching. Then you stitch along the edge of the zipper tape. Start from the bottom and just stitch all the way up and make sure, as I said, that the zipper should be facing up. The next step is to notch the right front piece. So what you do is that you place the right facing piece parallel to the right piece. Then you mark a notch on the right piece where the fly facing begins on that left side. Then you fold in the seam allowance on the right piece and press. And to attach the zipper, what you do is that you place the folded edge on the zipper with a few millimeters between the fabric edge and the cause, and then you top stitch along the edge of the shield to secure the zipper. And if you base first, that will definitely make the step easier. And a good thing to know here is that if the zipper tape is fairly narrow, use a zipper presser foot so the stitching doesn't catch the cause. But if you have a wider zipper tape, you can actually use a standard presser foot that will have enough room to operate, which kind of can make this even easier. So that's a choice that depends on the size of the zipper that you are using. And the final step is to stitch together the crotch. As you've seen here, we have kept the crotch seam open. So that's actually the last thing we're doing when you're sewing a jean zipper the professional way. We start by folding and pressing the lower edge of the left crotch. This is in preparation for stitching together the front crotch. Then you place the folded edge on top of the right piece. Align the edges of the seam allowance to make sure that they overlap properly. And then you finish it off by top stitching the crotch seam together. You start on the lower edge, stitch the first row, which is the closest to the edge, and then you sew so that stitch overlaps the fly top stitching. And when you reach that point with the needle still in the fabric, lift the presser foot and turn the piece 90 degrees, then stitch for approximately about six millimeters, which is one quarter of an inch. And then you turn again and stitch the inner row. Again, use that presser foot toe as you guide to make stitch even. And just like with the zipper, the entire crotch top stitching should be one continuous seam. And if you want to learn more about sewing jeans, you can also check out the other videos that I've done about sewing your own jeans. And I've also done a book, Sewing Jeans, the complete step-by-step -step guide, which is a very detailed book on all the things you need to know to making your own jeans. All the information will be in the description section.